Hi everybody, this is Mr. Stansfield and you're watching Mr. Stansfield's Educational Videos. Today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how to make a print here in the dark room with our cell phones. The first step is to take a picture. So I'm going to turn my cell phone on and snap a selfie. Alright, I got a couple. Next thing what we're going to do is open up the gallery and select the picture. After we open the picture, we're going to need an editing program here on the phone, or if you've got an iPhone, you can actually do it in the system settings. We want to make a negative of the image. So we flip the values, and uh, the next step is to load it into the enlarger. Let's take a look at that. With this enlarger, the Bessler 23C, what we're going to do is actually grab a 6x9 negative carrier, and I've loaded the 80 millimeter lens, which is the medium format lens. The height of the head doesn't really matter because we're not using the light from uh, the condenser. What I want to do is try to line up my picture in the negative carrier as best I can. All right. Uh, we're going to want to set the screen on the camera phone, uh, rather the screen on the phone, to not turn off. You can go into your settings and do that, and also set it to manually control the brightness and increase the brightness as much as possible. You can also fine-tune things like contrast and brightness in an editing program. Once you've got your image flipped, you try to line up where you want it to be on that negative carrier. If you don't have a 6x9 negative carrier, you can also just put it right in. Uh, it might take some balancing to get it to line up. Once you've done that, slide it in right here, holding it up making sure not to lose your spot, close it, and we're ready for the red lights. Let's turn the lights off and take a look at the next step. Once you're in the red lights, you're going to proceed to do everything that you would if you were making a traditional print from a negative. Go to the brightest aperture on the enlarger, focus using the focus knobs, once you have your focus dialed in, you're ready to make a test strip. In this case, we're not going to adjust our aperture at all. We're going to leave it on the brightest aperture. Obviously, there's no timer hooked up to your cell phone here, so you're going to need to grab something to block the light. Basically, you're just going to cover up the light, grab your test strip, put it down, and then move the light blocker. And in this case, we're going to do five second intervals. And without the timer, these lines may not be very straight, but it should work. So I'm doing 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds here now, and 25 seconds for the last exposure. And then covering up the light with the light blocker, grabbing the test strip, and starting the processing. In this case, just process it like normal, however you would normally develop your photo paper in the darkroom. After we develop it like normal, we look at it, we evaluate it, and make the print based on whatever our evaluation is of the test strip. After you develop your test strip, you evaluate it. In this case, I think 15 seconds looks good, so I'm going to set my timer to 15 seconds and make an exposure. Here's the final result. We can certainly edit the contrast using contrast filters, uh, but this is pretty cool for a quick selfie in the darkroom. Here's our original image on the cell phone that I reversed using the software and our final picture. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Mr. Stansfield's educational videos. Remember, everything is the same as making a normal print in the darkroom. The only difference is that instead of using a film and, a, and light from the enlarger, the cell phone itself is the image and the light source. Please subscribe and we'll see you around.